What's up, Divine Moon Goddess fam, bam? It's your Divine Moon Goddess coming at you with a little bit of motherfucking tarot. So I am just feeling good today. It's Friday that I'm recording this. Don't know when you'll see it, <laughs> but I'm recording this on a Friday. So I wanted to do my Queen Up, King Up edition. Uh, if you truly want to get the love of your life, if you truly want to get the partnership of your life, you're going to need to do things a little bit differently. Um, and so this is that segment. So listen to uh, my advice, okay? Um, it has taken me a long time, just to tell you a little bit of background on me, those of you guys who haven't followed me, don't really know me. Um, it's taken me a long time to get to the point of understanding what I deserve as a partner or what I deserve as someone coming towards me. Um, I have been the giver in my life. I have been the giver in the over, kind of put myself out there, always being there, always compromising, always being the one who doesn't stay mad, you know, kind of thing. So, you know, at some point you have to change um, a part of you, not get cold and be a bitch or be an asshole, but it's about changing you where you have boundaries. You have to have better boundaries. Otherwise, people will always walk all over you, right? So you got to kind of ask yourself, in this situation, what do I do next? I'm They're not committing to me or I'm not finding the right people or the wrong people are coming at me. You got to kind of look at what are you doing? Most of you guys are thirst trapping on your social media. Let me tell you, thirst trapping. <laughs> Let's be real. Um, so you're going to have to change that if you want a king or a queen. All right. We ain't even going to get to the emperor or empress yet. We're just trying to get to the king and the queen. Okay. And if you don't want, um, anything less than that, what they're calling nowadays high value, you're going to have to move into a stance of more high value. It, it is just that simple, right? So, and it, and it don't matter your size. It doesn't matter um shit what you look like because i've seen some ugly ones in relationships okay let's just be real let's be real okay um to each his own and everybody has someone so you be like man i'm single it's there's something you're not doing right okay there's something you're not doing right in your situation either you're still chasing the one that don't want you or you keep really pulling in people that aren't available because you're not truly available. So we are going to look into what's going on. So, all right, Scorpios in the motherfucking house. Scorpios in the building. So we're doing queen up, king up. So if you want a higher value, higher vibrational um, partnership, I'm a partnership. I'm going to give you some tips of what you need to do to climb that ladder to success, right? So we're going to do my queens on this side, my kings on that side. I will um, I will time stamp it so you guys know um, where to go, where to go, okay? Um, biggest thing is um, make some changes because a lot of you guys are like, why well, I can't find one, why there isn't, there's no good men, there's no good women, and that's all a fucking lie. There is good men. There is good women. You just need to get your ass up out there, up out of the house, get out from that TV. They ain't going to be fucking delivered to your ass, okay? <sighs> Alrighty. Okay, so let's start with my feminines. For you guys, a lot of you guys need to just come to the terms of not having this proposal. This is really bothering you guys, okay? My queens, this is really bothering my Scorpios, not being in a romantic partnership that you want, not having the ring on your finger, um, not having the finances attached to that partner. And I feel like you got to understand not to, um, not to allow yourself to attach yourself to anyone's finances because a queen has her own, make your own money. It's okay when you pair up with someone, um, and then you guys decide to combine, but you still need to make sure you have your money. Cause if shit goes to, to shit, shit goes to shit. You need to be able to walk away with your money. Okay. Some of you guys need to be honest with yourself about your regrets. There's a lot of things that you're regretting. That whole night, that thought night, whatever the fuck you got going on, someone you played in the past, someone you played games with or whatever happened, you are regretting the situation. Let that shit go. Um, once you get to queen status, you will understand that there are things you can and cannot change. 
um, go ahead and forgive yourself, forgive the person, tell that person, forgive me, or I'm sorry, or whatever the fuck you need to do, but work through this energy so you're not carrying this with you, okay? Get out there and fucking date. Trust the process. Some of you guys are in the house and thinking somebody's going to be mailed to you. It ain't gonna happen. I mean, you can get a lot of shit mailed to you, but it ain't gonna be a king or a queen, okay? So you got this energy of needing to get out. Spirit's like, get out of the house. Talk to people. Vibe to people, okay? Vibe to people. Vibe with people. Trust the process that your person is out there. Some of you guys just need to get, get through this healing process. Let go of the shit that you think you've done or didn't do. And then some of you guys need to work on your finances. Some of you guys are worried about a partnership, but you ain't going to have no money in the bank. Your shit is all negative. I was hoping some crickets would start chirping, but fix your finances, okay? And some of you guys just need to go get out there, start trusting in the process, and trust that your king or your queen is out there, okay? Um, all right, let's get to my masculines. Masculines, some of you guys need to do some self-love. You need to take care of yourself better. You need to be more affectionate also, okay? So when you take care of yourself and you show that you care about yourself, it will bring that counterpart that takes care of their self, okay? Because a king and a queen will take time to take care of themselves and nurture themselves. They know that it's important, okay? I feel like you've made promises to yourself. Like, by this age, I'm going to be this. By this age, I'm going to be married. And I feel like you're kind of letting yourself down. Don't let yourself down. Promise yourself that you are going to get exactly what you deserve and what you want should you put the time and effort some of you guys want a house first some of you guys want a car first some of you guys want a job first um and whatever it is that you want to work on work on it as a king build it do it go for it you shouldn't have to put your ambitions or your goals to the side to get your king or queen on your arm get someone who understands what you're doing get someone who understands what you're building because i feel like some of you guys are entrepreneurs or some of you guys are truly like building something and maybe no one understands the time and effort that you're putting in i will tell you there are counterparts out there that are doing the same thing that you're doing and they understand the limited time that's available to actually be with someone and they they understand that someone else would understand it okay now for some of y'all some of y'all need to leave the person you're with because you got this third party situation going on. So some of you guys know damn well you're in a, in a third party situation, but you're playing the role, okay? Some of you guys are the ones who initiated the third party situation, okay? Um, the thing about it is I do see a soulmate. The soulmate is not the person you're with, okay? If you're with someone that's not your soulmate, it's the other person. <laughs> It's the other person. Um, some of you guys don't want to leave your person because you made a promise to them thinking they were your soulmate. And now this other person has come along and you are like, damn, what do I do? Masculines. My masculines. Choose your soulmate. Follow your heart. Some of you guys got a lot of finances tied into this so you don't want to break away because of what you're going to lose. You're afraid of what you're going to lose. But I will tell you that the... Um, keeping a facade of a home together for the facade um, is going to keep you with this third party situations now of course you could be dealing with someone who's dealing with someone else and you don't know so I would definitely like pay attention your red flags would be up and you would start to know and I don't think everybody's in the third party situation that's just some of my um, masculine Scorpios to become a king you're not going to entertain the thir third party. And we ain't talking about ancient. Don't give me that shit about kings and queens and, and how they had three wives and all this other bullshit. Look, a king is not going to entertain the third party situation. Okay? It's just not. King knows their worth. So does a queen. So if you're in a third party situation, you're definitely not on king status. So you need to change that. You need to ask yourself, why are you in a third party? If someone you're with is lacking what you truly want and desire, that person is not the one. Your person will live up to the hype. Your person will be just as nasty as you are. Your person will be just as freaky as you are. Your person will be just as fucking kinky as you are. And if they don't meet the quota in the shit that you like, it's not your person, okay? So that's what I got for you, um, Scorpios. Am I on Scorpio? I am on Scorpio. I'm like forgetting where the fuck am I at. 
as always, sending you my love and my light, my light, my love. Bye.